Sleep apnea is a problem that affects more than 25 million Americans, and it could actually be deadly. Dr. Mark Kerner is here to talk about some of the symptoms and treatments of sleep apnea. Good morning. Good morning. So first off, doctor, tell us what is sleep apnea? Sure. So sleep apnea is a condition where we get collapse of the upper airway. So when we go to sleep, mm -hmm. we actually get collapse of the tissues, which result in snoring, which is the primary sign. Mm -hmm. And then the symptoms are daytime sleepiness, you're feeling like when you wake up that you're just haven't had a good night's sleep. Mm -hmm. It can lead to increases in car accidents because we believe that people with sleep apnea fall asleep while driving. Okay. Um, also, have it affects your ability to think clearly, mm -hmm. uh, and there's uh, all the cardiac issues as well. So it can also lead to high blood pressure, arrhythmias, uh, and even sudden death. And what actually causes sleep apnea? So what it is is a combination of excessive tissue in the upper airway and collapse of those tissues. So what we believe is we get either too much excessive tissue, either our tonsils are too big or the tongue is too big for the mouth hmm. or there's, uh, there's deformities that have occurred in, in our craniofacial skeleton. And what ends up happening is you get collapse when you sleep mm -hmm. and you don't get airflow and the airflow stops so we, we then get decrease in our blood concentration of oxygen, which then leads to all the heart problems. Okay, and it seems like it usually affects people as they get a little older or a little heavier? Sure, it does, and weight gain has a big big component to this as well, mm -hmm. but it also affects children too. Mm. So children that have large tonsils and adenoids mm -hmm. or children with Down syndrome are particularly prone to sleep apnea as well. Mm -hmm. And what kind of tests do you do to diagnose somebody with sleep apnea? Sure, so the big thing is the history, mm -hmm. and once we determine that, that the person probably has a setup for sleep apnea, then the, the primary test is a sleep study or a polysomnogram in which in a sleep lab or at home, we hook them up to monitors mm -hmm. and we actually assess how much airflow is working and uh, how much cessation of breathing is actually occurring. Okay, and that's really how it can become a killer because people stop breathing for too long? Correct, and so with that decrease in airflow, mm -hmm. we then get all kinds of arrhythmias potentially and a diminishment of the oxygen in the blood, so that leads to heart problems as well. Okay, and what are the treatment options? Well, the, tr the mainstay for treatment is either correcting some of those anatomic abnormalities or using what's called a CPAP machine, which is a continuous positive airway pressure device that fits over the nose and the mouth mm -hmm. and actually pumps air into the airway and it opens the airway up. Well, and that's all you need. Well, that's, that's very helpful. Now, we're, we're also starting to understand some of the neurologic complications that occur with sleep apnea mm -hmm. and that the, the biggest problem that we have is there's a significant portion of the population that cannot tolerate the mask. Ah, okay. Yeah. So if you are noticing your spouse or your significant other starting to snore really loud. Is that a sign of sleep apnea or not? Yes. Now, not everybody that snores has sleep apnea, mm -hmm. but almost everybody that has sleep apnea snores. So yeah. it's snoring, breath stops, gasping at night, and actually seeing that your partner or your bed partner is not breathing, you know, or having pauses in their breathing, which is indicative of sleep apnea. Okay. And in your uh, experience, how long can someone actually stop you know, breathing there. Like. Well, we've seen people on the testing go for 25, 30 seconds at a time. So mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's quite significant. Yeah, I guess it would be pretty scary to see if you're next to somebody who stops breathing <laughs> for that long. Exactly. All right, doctor, thank you so much for joining us. We certainly appreciate that. And for more information on Dr. Kerner and sleep apnea, just go to our website, kcal9.com, and click Scene on TV.